Hey, well, welcome to the Dream Labs, Dr. Contrast Live. It's good to have uh, another uh, little session in the uh, scale here today, and I'm uh, looking forward to doing some little quick and dirty little sketches here, and uh, hopefully um, all is good. So um, last week we did some, uh, last week we did a whole series of little thumbnail sketches on some, some uh, camera studies, or uh, pardon me, um, some um, projector studies, and it was kind of fun to put them all together, and I think I've always been really prone to it. I really enjoy doing the conceptual side of sketches be the idea of creating an idea is far more uh, alluring to me than the actual finished product and I know both are important but I think the actual process of getting a concept sketch down is extremely critical and I think what I did today I'm going to start with something that uh, before we go into the little uh, camera studies little mini cams I thought I'd show you some idea of how to set up these planes and how to build this stuff especially when you move into uh, compound very delicate uh, objects for the more organic they become the more difficult they become so put that little little study here together um, on a horizontal system and a vertical system. And the, what you see in blue here, I'm going to try to highlight this before I do a little sketches here. But you notice in blue, there's a very there's a very very typical construction platform or plane. What I did was I set that plane up, and then I began to move into it and broke it into a, a, a square in perspective, face with square in perspective, and at the other end a, 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 a square and the face in perspective, on its perspective center. And just built um, that around it. Then I went vertical here, right off the center. I noticed that that vertical area thing is coming off of the, um, the uh, um, square, coming up the center line of the main plane. Then I added on this end where the box system is going to relate to coming off the element of the um, actual platform, develop the actual round surfaces or some of the circles of perspective. So let's let's go through this for a moment. Let's show you how this operates. Now that I've got those planes set up. Uh, that tells me now, if I go back to the first one, let's go back to in, on the inside, on the horizontal plane. I have this, and I have this. When I start to generate that circle in there, it's not going to look like this. I'm going to have this plane doing that, which gives me the horizontal plane for the circle. Then I'm going to come back to that vertical plane we set up on center line, which is right here, and do the same thing. Find its perspective center. Hey, Shadowman, how you doing? Good to see you, man. Thank you for your many years. Hey, thanks very much. And likewise to you. I really appreciate it, uh, Shadow. It's good to have you on board. I know you're a busy man, but thanks for taking the time to take a peek at this thing. So let's come back in perspective. Let's find the perspective center. Now I'm going to go back and find the horizontal circle. And with those two merge, it's going to tell me how to build this form. Now let's come back in through here and off of this surface, let's find the perspective center on this face here. Then find its vertical and its horizontal. We'll come back and develop the circle in there. So there it is. There's my three elements I'm going to deal with. Now, coming off of this point here, underneath, I'm going to draw through it, then connect, then draw through it, and connect. And then coming into that, I can come back in here and I'll add changes, for example. Now that I know where that is, come back into this, down in this section here, and just add a little design flavor to this thing. Come back and add a little bit of little elements of lines here. Notice that surface right there Hold me. What the volume is doing. That's a very round end, for example. And up on top here, same process. There's the volume it sits in. Here's the circle. Camera lens itself. And at the end, that's what that shape is doing there. Kind of lightly put that in. Now we came back in, add a little bit of this. And add a design line in there. That begins to look like that. There's a seam line. That line right there is that line right there. So that's what happens when you begin to build this thing the perspective. It kind of puts it all together. And the very nice thing about that is when you start to maybe put a little bit of rendering to it, it kind of maps itself out. You come back into here, run that through, run that through, come back up, take that around the corner, blend that in, and then come back in through here. A little bit of highlight on top of this where the lens is itself. Bring that into play through the core, around the bend. Again, maybe a little bit of design change or a color change in through here. Just kind of stain that in. There it is. Come back in through here. Shadow underneath the lens area itself. Kind of tint that in a bit. Now, into the lens itself. Just come back in. Same thing. And... We're going to add a little bit of definition of detail, and just little things like that, just little bends and so forth. And again, look at how simple that form is now illustrated. As a result, going back in and seeing how 
that surface is working. And you can do the same thing here by coming up on top and add more detail. You can draw through that you know, round form, come back in and add, again, additional details on that surface. So I'm coming right through that center line and just adding little things in that, put it all put together. So there's phase one, <clears throat> pardon me, in a horizontal format. And notice, let's go back and we'll look at this guy in the vertical. Same process here. Here are the vertical planes that I'm dealing with here. One unit. This is what it looks like in the <clears throat> in its uh, perspective variation. Notice I came in and built another box off of that to get the forms arrayed right. And I'm using the construction side to develop the accuracy of the sketch. And I think that's one thing we do not do enough of. I think, pardon me, as I move this around just a bit, there we are, that we don't do enough of in terms of uh, construct. How do we how do we construct this stuff? How does it work? And I thought just as as of last Wednesday's program, I thought, well, maybe let's go back and look at some of the construction elements and some of the fundamentals of putting some of the systems together to develop accuracy in the sketches and how, how we build them, how we see they come together, and how to keep them safe and, and sound and accurate visually. So this is, again, vertical, same process. We develop, notice the blue is a plane, and by drawing through it, this second plane back here, let me just go kind of a little bit. Here's the facing plane here, and I notice I drew through it to find out where the width is and added that box off of that, again, to build the, the, the lens. But once I have that, I go back and do the same process. I come back into here, find its perspective center on that cube, find its major and its minor, come back in and develop the circle. Same thing here. Notice I drew through it by coming across here. Here is my second one on the back side of that. And then there's my second circle in through here. Now that tells me how to begin to connect the dots on the bottom. I come up into here. I come back out of this. Go vertical. Put a radius in place where I need to, and I come back out to this. Notice again, find the perspective center, it's major, and it's minor. And come back in again and rotate the circle. Come back in and connect the dots. Go back inside the shape now, go negative and then connect the pieces. And there it is. That's how that, that whole form is built. Now notice we come down through here. This comes off. Now I have a little bit of a highlight in here. here. I'm going to pick up the same resin here. Is our surface here. If we add more detail in here, we can add more of this into this. Notice now it become guideposts to help me put it all together. So here it is. Come back in. Let's go back and look at just a little bit of rendering here. Same process. Come back in. Shadow line is. Come back in again. Into the lens itself. there all squared away come back and notice again a little bit of highlight underneath there and the shadow again down that surface now i can come back into here same process here get that little circle of work on this body side here come back into the highlight over here through get that right on through down to the vertical and then put a little bit of tint on this and before you know it got my finished sketch I come back in again, get the lens to kind of have a little more pop to it. Now I can do the same thing. Start to detail this. Now that I've got the footprint ready to go, I can take this and just detail it, add more elements to it. Take that through, add a little definitions here. And there's a little pencil sketch based on the construction method we're looking at to get these things put together. And I realize, I, I mean, I, I, mean, I don't want to go too far here with some of the technical material. But again, you notice uh, that when you put this stuff together, it really helps to understand how we build them. What do we see when we build them? How it takes time to kind of put those pieces together. But once you get the format down, everything becomes automatic. I don't mean automatic that it becomes perfection, but it becomes automatic to see how these things begin to structure themselves. So let's kind of look at the, here's the front elevation here, like we did with this. And here's my circle. Here's my diagonal to find the perspective center my major my minor axis rotate the lens in here rotate the lens in here graft it in graft it in and that, that's about it now where those design lines are it's a b and c that's all i'm going to see so there it is it's a front view looking at this in perspective so i just thought it might be interesting to start here today with um, those elements in place let us see how we construct these things. And I've often been a believe, firm believer of this, too. I'm, I've never drifted from this uh, throughout the course of time that I've always believed that when I see something uh, to create, for example, it might be a product design, transportation piece, architectural piece, 
interior space, no matter what it is, I don't draw the object, I draw the volumes. That's what this is all about here, to get accuracy down, understand what the volumes are doing, how to build the volumes, and how to begin to develop that, and take it to another level in terms of developing a product, no matter what the discipline is, you have to function for us. So there it is there. I mean, that's, that's how we start this. Um, now keep this in mind, this little lesson plan here, as I go through this process today, um, of, of doing some little thumbnail sketches, and I'm gonna switch gears here now from, from Bob Warren Penn, and start just doing some really quick little gesture sketches. And this is a great pen, uh, Winsor Newton, number three, fine line pen. I mean, great, because you can literally sketch with it and use a marker over the top of it that doesn't run. So I'm gonna go back and let's just do the same thing here. Go back in and get that plane set up. Do this, let's get it started. Come back in and can develop this around area here. Come back out through here. Same process here. it off through it come back out here and say all right there's my lens dots I can the connection line here pick that up a little bit up oh, section here and scroll that right back in a little bit of the design change here there it is They found us in the back here. Little change of pace there. You can change that form just a bit. Come back in, add that. Notice that's still going to follow this line around. It's the right axis right here. Come back in. That's a little solid brake line here. Oh, pardon me. Let's get this back up in place here. Bit of tint. Put that lens in place, a bit of highlight over the top of that, and there it is there. It's a nice little rough sketch. There it is. So it's that same process. If you look at the two together here, look how they both begin to work together in just terms of building where those shapes are going and getting the idea of how to construct these things, getting that facing plane or that, that platform in place, then developing the sketch out of that. So that's that guy. Let's go back and just do a little simple variation here. Go back and look at this thing, maybe a, a little variation in theme on the plan view. Let's kind of put that line down, my center line here. Come back in again, break this thing, come out, break that up. Come back in here. A little variation on theme. Little plan view study with this guy. <laughs> Make that cut line work for us here. And then in the place, just a little offset up on top here. A little plan view sketch of just a little thumbnail study here. And now let's go back into this. <clears throat> in through there. And I just slope this thing off. <clears throat>
a little texture change up on top. A little bit of spice to it here. Change. There it is there. Come back in. Pardon me here. This guy off my way. Let's get that out of the way. There it is. There we go. Very cool. A little thumbnail sketch again. And just go through some basic rhythm here. Let's start another one here. Notice, get the circles down. Platform set. Now take off with it. Come off with that, that cylinder. It's there. Backside through. Connect the dots. Come back in again. Through it. <clears throat> out of that out of this come right back in and just let's add a little flavor here let's put a little bit of chamfer on this thing let's chamfer this back section of like this and this let that roll into itself get that break line through now let's come back in now notice i've got a little bit of flat spill right here. that's a flat now it's as opposed to being round we'll come back in and just drop this shape off Yeah, just really quick little gestures on thumbnail sketches just looking at the variations and forms here let's come back in and hit this again here let's go back and maybe this form something a little different here. let's come back and just this back Yes, here we are. And this little thumbnail studies 
perspective change here. Maybe one more little added here. Let's have, have a little bit of fun with this thing. Let's go back and just. Now, a little, little match set here. It's going to come back in and just frame this thing a little bit here. Just tie them all together. And just for a little bit of fun, let's see if we can put a little bit of tint to these things and just a little bit of wash to them. Sharp looking cam. Yeah, just fun stuff. It was nice and easy. <clears throat> Very simple forms of uh, shadow, just looking at exploratory pieces. Um, concept work, packaging, very small little mini handheld cameras you kind of manipulate both vertically or horizontally, and just as simple as that. And let's, let's put a little bit of tint in these things here. Notice how I played that, that sphere up, just up and out of it, you know that little tint here. On top. Change there, here, here. There's here for a moment here. Guts in this thing. It's really fast little gesturally thumbnail sketches, not really looking at great control, concept or idea. What are we looking for here? What's what's unique? What kind of shapes are we kind of exploring? Are they kind of kind of falling in place here for us? It's kind of neat little studies. Hey, Skyhard. Hey, Diehard, how are you? So many cams meant to be for like like yeah, that's that's a good that's a good way to look at it too. Um uh, Diana, good to have you on board here. Just small little handheld pieces about the size of maybe a mouse and so forth, a little bit larger, just based on like basic volumes, cylinders, conical shapes, just looking at exploring certain ways of looking at the shapes here. Let's go back a little bit more tint in this thing here. Go back and just scrub this thing in. Release it. And just for a theme change here.
Just little thumbnail sketches there, Diane. What do you think? So far, so good there, guys. Adam, are you still with it? Let's see what's happening here. Let's do a little of this, too. We're just going to come back in and just block in with a little bit of color here. Let's get these guys to scream just a bit. Concept work here. Real fast little gestures. There you go, gang. Uh, just how it's in before. That's interesting. Like just moving it around, just looking at certain themes and basic studies here, and just letting it happen. And let's kind of put this together here. Well, there's one. Let's go back and look at a few more here. To make a mess of this page, this cover sheet. Let's get rid of this guy underneath there for a little bit. We'll just keep going. Just nice little thumbnail sketches here. Yeah, let's get them lined up here. We'll just kind of keep cranking. Again, the whole purpose of today's stream is to get used to the fact that once we structurally begin to set things up and understand how this whole process begins to validate us, that to me is the secret to it all, learning how to put the construction together from the point of view of working with a plane, coming up with a circle in perspective, horizontally and then vertically, and coming back in and building the box structure around the elements and just connecting all the dots. The form takes care of itself, and we try to guess at certain. You know full well it really becomes an issue because we're certainly we're always guessing is this right? Is this right? You know the structure here is correct, so you begin to follow those those hard points, and you're on your way, which really opens up the door, I think, to an enormous, an enormous amount of conceptual thinking. You're not restricted any longer. You understand the message and where you're going with it, and it makes a huge difference. So there it is. There's one and two. Let's go back and just kind of crank out some things here. Go back and just look at this. No, there's a lot of drawing through, just very gesturally, kind of picking things up here, pick a point in the reference here. This is, let's, let's lift this up, pop it in. Bring it all forward now. Nice and loose.
or with graphics in this guy. And this Setting it all by itself here. Let's kind of put this into a format here. Pardon me, as I move this thing around a little bit. There we are. Yeah, that's better. And again, little thumbnail sketch uh, coming together, just you know, different ways of looking at shape and form here. Let's come back in. Let's go the other route. Let's start with this guy. Let's get this thing oriented and go the other way. Now, notice, I start to sketch. Put that circle down, knowing where the frame of reference is, where the face of the cube is. Well, I'm going to build this axis. So there's my center line. I'm going to come out of here with that. I'm going to come out of here again with this. Roll it back. Take this form. Take it over here. Bring this surface into play. Again, another circle in perspective. Now, notice. When I go through this, I'm looking at those very situations where the volumes are. I'm not drawing a camera. I'm drawing the volumes on. Build the camera. When I begin to connect all the dots here, something begins to happen. So I'm going to come out of here with this, roll into here, and roll into that. So that's a lower piece. Okay. I'm going to build up on top of that. Take this shape, run it through. is let's crown this a little bit more and form into that shape there so i can adjust that as i go that line that line hold off of that bring it all forward throw the conical formation there little by little it's going to rough this up a little bit here it's going to get that in around the bend go back and make this a recess Outline, it's boring form. On, off.
then very simply, that form starts to come together just based on knowing where those elements are going to fall in place. I mean, it's just looking at exploratory pieces here, a little bit of tent in this thing. After we're grounded a little bit here. More definition. And that was just this. Ground that sketch. And there is a little thumbnail sketch, a little black and white graphic, and that's it. Just see them all come together here. Interesting a little stuff here. <clears throat> Again, notice axis, lens, A little tent. Very quickly, a nice little thumbnail sketch of just some ideas and putting together little little mini cams and how they begin to function. So I hope this is helping, gangs. It's a lot of fun. Lots of fun. Just, just really quick little gesture sketches that are going to give some idea these forms might be doing and what we're looking at and how to develop these things and let's go a little further here let's do a little elevation study here on the process Pardon me, it's back in the camera range here. Of a 
the seam break in here. Pass there to get it to saturate a little bit. Let's pop back in a little bit more. A little again, a little elevation study, a little camo sketch here. Let's kind of bring them all together. And again, real, real, real loose sketches here. Just kind of having fun with the idea of putting together some basic, simple shapes. What are we doing with it? You know, how is it to begin to build itself? And I think, the, again, the important thing I really want to stress from sketch to sketch is when it happens, it becomes about as a result of, let's put these side by side here. Yeah, to work, let's see if we can get them into the same screen. Yeah, almost. Above and below, how does that work? Yeah, that's not bad. You know, notice every one of these sketches are a product of going back in and really looking at, for example, how, how volume works, how the planes are set up, how to develop the circles and correct them, to correct them, what to look at, and how to begin to emphasize where the shapes are going, what you're doing with it all. And it all started with this little sketch right here. Sorry to be redundant again, but that's that's the key to it all. Start the program today with a very simple plane, vertical, square, horizontal square, and give me a reference point, built the box off of that. Again, square, reference point, and begin to put the pieces together. Horizontal, same thing in the vertical. The facing plane, develop the actual shape of the circle itself. Built that in and come back to the box off of that basic unit and then built that um, circle off of that. And I think, again, uh, what I want to stress, there's no question in my heart of hearts that round organic shapes are very difficult to do. But if we understand the principles of how they appear and disappear, to build them, how to develop a shape and, and geometry correctly, it all falls in line nicely and it kind of simplifies our idea cycle. Well, Fun stuff. So let's put that together. And then we just finished two. Let me just kind of do this. And there we are. Dyard. So with us, um, Shadow, thanks, man. If you're hanging on there, I really appreciate you guys being a part of the process here today. Uh, a little bit of a quick and dirty process to work with. But again, certainly a lot of fun to deal with here. Let me just kind of get rid of that piece of paper. We'll start with the freshman here. Um, Diehard, if you're there, what do you think? Is this helping or hindering here? Um, very interesting little set of conversations. It's always good to have feedback like that, guys. Very, very interesting to have feedback. Let's go back and look at this. Um, start out with a couple of little forms here. Let's go back and just start with a circle. Come back through the axis. That center line is, there it is. 
Here, but just pick up a nice little form here. Very neat to see how shape. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. It's all coming together, Diehard. Thanks very much. Appreciate the input. Horses are great. Yeah, YouTube, yeah, it should be kind of fun. Hopefully, their shadow will get these guys up on YouTube. And again, I, I just thought, let me stop her from. I just thought after last Wednesday, it was really interesting to go through those little projector studies. I thought, you know what? A lot of complicated shape there. Now, they weren't very outstanding sketches. But the shapes were all being built out of substantial information in terms of the, the truth of geometry. Um, the five basic solids. Once you understand how to set up planes and what circles do, how to orient them, where your contact points are, it all falls into place. So I thought last week, after I finished up, I said, you know what, I'm going to go back in and do a little lesson plan here on getting those volumes down again, using circles and planes to direct the, uh, the, the faces and platforms to set up the sketches, which is, which is this whole stream is all about. Not one of these sketches have been done without understanding. In my mind's eye, I see the planes, I see the circles, I see the orientation, it's practice, practice, practice. It takes a long time, but I just don't want to have any uh, form of confusion here as we go through the process today, especially after last week, because we're going to move in in time to come. Some pretty advanced stuff. I'm going to start doing some uh, Don Turismo vision stuff, uh, some Bentley uh, rework on uh, the Blue Train Special. All that's very complicated material, but it, I mean, I don't know if I can handle it, but I'm going to give my best shot. So again, the whole purpose is to get this whole concept down before you start a sketch understand the geometry in a familiar with it develop it see how they begin to function and believe me as you well know die hard and the shadow the more you understand how to begin to build things the greater your ability is to cheat with it because you can make it look flatter you know what the surface is you know how to handsome you know how to take it another step and it all comes down to practice and understanding what the geometry does i'm a firm believer that i'm, I'm much more intrigued with concept sketches like this than i am with finished renderings because it, it Concept sketches force you to think in terms of building the system, developing the shape, and then understanding what the process are. Get it done. So enough for said here. Pardon me for blabbing away here. I'm just going to put this guy in a little bit more thumbnail sketch here. Just nice little ballpoint pen sketch here. Pardon me. Not a ballpoint pen. A little NASA scoop in there. Just changing shape. Here we get some flavor. Now notice that little contact, little line right there. That sweep, that tells me that form is round. It's not flat. We're going to come off of that just again understanding what the volumes are doing it's coming through this thing here and break this down just a bit take that a step further let's recess it then begin to define it Just give me a little bit more definition. A little straight down as we go. Now notice, simple as that is, there's not much there. Begin to see how the volumes are beginning to work. So neat stuff. Let's go back in through here. Go the other up. Those two lines are right there. That one and that one. Those two lines are, tell me everything about this sketch I'm going to do. That's where my orientation is. As my drive line, I'm going to come out of that drive line with the following. I'm going to come right back in here, come back in perspective. First of all, create the box. Again, follow the drive lines, follow the drive line back in perspective. Notice, drive line back to BP left, drive line back to BP right. Now, when I come off of that into center line, I'm going to come right off the shape and begin to do the following. Come up and roll it back. Come up, roll it back. End it as it sits right there. Come off the base of this thing, up it down, same thing, come back in through here, roll it up, end it shortly, come back and just begin to begin. Now notice that shape came together as a result of just two lines that one and that one. 
right back to drive lines. That whole thing set up my whole course here of how to put together. Oops, pardon me. How to put this thing back into action. That is my reference here. <clears throat> Those two lines are critical. I come back in again, center line. I can take this thing. Now notice I come back and add a design line and do this. Now it changes the character of that guy. Out of that, and I'm just drawing through as I go, beginning to understand what the forms are doing. And do a recess. Change a plane here. Run that across. Send that in there. Bring that into play. There it is. Well, I'm losing my pad here. Part of it, the gang. Sorry about that. It's coming in here. Again. But a definition in this thing. Notice the sketch here, but just a little bit of a tracer of white right through that little highlight right there. It tells me where the form is turning the corner. Very simple, but yet hopefully it gets the job done. Go back in, put a little more tint in this thing. Go away from that side, put that, scrub it through, and then release it. So I can pass. I can take that one marker and develop it. Take it from this. This is the number three. You can take this three right down to about a number five, just by adding saturation, one on top of the other. Top of the other. A little bit of reflective marker. Top, and then done. There it is. A little thumbnail sketch. Very cool. Same thing here. Underneath. Over the top. Into the shadow. Along the core line. And again. You know, much more animated you can come with those forms once you get it all squared away you can animate it because now you know what the shapes are doing much more confidence in terms of putting that all together and i come back and do this let's go back in here remember that is all set up because i know where that axis is following that whole process together there it is there come back in again
following the form up on top. That round shape. And again, a bit of surplus work. And a little bit of definition. Simple little forms. There he is right there. There it is. Bring the shapes together. Very, very much of a lean in this guy. Let's come back in and just finish up with something here. A little bit less into it. Very simple little thumbnail sketch, almost like a head elevation right on top of us here. And just for fun, I wanted to try this at some point in time. Let's see what happens here. That we did this. Oops, it's here.
Lamborghini or mini cams. Anyhow, there we are. No thumb here. There. Any other juice here? I think I just made it. Anyway, there it is. Nice little composition page there. These little guys, little camera studies. Let's hope that's all working here for you guys. And let's do this. Well, there it is. There's a pretty good family of forms here. Just nice little page compositions of little mini cams. And um, hopefully of some interest here, let's kind of line them up here as best we can. There's a page. Again, it'll work here together. There's one. Is it's that? So we started with plate one, plate one. There's plate two. Can you get this over there or not? We'll try. I don't think so. Oh, maybe move it up just a bit here. There's one, and there's two. Maybe just enough for three to sneak it in. I'm not sure if we can or not. Almost. So just much more up on top here. Just three composition of three pages to tighten this up. Uh, close enough. I think we'll just cover some. There we go. Anyhow, that's a pretty interesting set of combinations here. Um, just again, basically, uh, there's your spy ship. Die yeah, there it is. This guy right here is your spy ship. That'll be a die hard. Cool. Um, uh, let me get this out of the way so it's not to confuse the issue. So. There was one and two side by side, and we went from there to one and three. Just changing the orientation, a couple little more on the vertical side, and a little more intrigue, putting some of the forms together. Just fun to look at. And again, the whole premise today was to take two very important things and work with them in harmony. Number one, setting up a platform. Back again to this. Setting up a platform, meaning if you could draw and see through this thing, there is a shape, for example, in here. This whole rectangular form right here is a platform. I started with that plane. Built a circle or a square. Built the face of a square horizontally. Built the square, face of a square vertically. Connected the dots, went vertical, went horizontal. Found out where my contact points were. Built the same thing up here on the, on the unit on the end, and that became my process. Same thing here. And again, facing plane, circle in perspective. Yeah. Um, face of a cube. Right there, square, and the same thing up on top, built that surface. And from those two things, those two things, understanding how to work with it, and believe me, let me correct myself here. I don't understand it. I work with it, but it still is a mystery to me. It's amazing how it all works. But if you keep the principles, the principles will keep you. And I think that's the key thing about the whole process here today. This is fun. Um, and again, it's fun because when you know, and I hope I can say this in a proper context, it's fun when you know, for example, where you are. If you understand what the process is, and you can take advantage of the knowledge factor you've gained, and then what that allows you to do, and I've said this over the years, I'm not embarrassed to say it at all. I think one of the greatest things that, that I'm not, oh, how you doing, Rabbi Pavani? Hey, hi, thanks very much, Rabbi Pavani, how are you? Rabbi Pavani, good to have you on board. Thank you so much. 
And I think one of the greatest things over the course of time, let me just finish that thought very quickly. I was taught by Sid Mead to always think in terms of volumetrics. Don't draw a car. Do not draw um, the object. Do not draw an interior space. Build the volumes. Understand what those volumes are doing. Understand the geometry of space. All things fall into place as a result of that. And I can honestly tell you, I enjoy doing more conceptual sketches like this because it forces you to think in terms of being very, very careful. I don't mean careful that you're nervous about it, but being very, very circumspect. It's A to B to C to D. Very, very much procedure. Then you move into that. And once you begin to see how those procedures begin to function, um, I'm not embarrassed to tell you this at all. That the more you begin to follow the functional things, the more you understand the process, the more you're able to cheat space. That's the drama of being creative. So interesting. Hey, thank you, Rev. Uh, Rev. Of me, Pavli. I think I hope, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. So welcome aboard. And thank, where are you from, by the way? Uh, interesting. Um, very interested to have you join in here. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, so it, it's, it comes down to, again, two simple elements. You want to be explosive? Light the fire. If you can't light the fire, you'll never be explosive. And I don't mean that to be critical. I mean, if you want to be explosive, light the fire. What fire? Understanding principles, understanding the geometry, understand platforms, circles, all the neat things about it all. Yeah, the Norway, oh my goodness, that is uh, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, are you a product guy, a product individual? Um, what's your discipline? Welcome from way north. That's amazing. Thank you very much. So, again, it's been fun today, gang. And, and uh, tune in next week. I'm going to kind of switch gears again to some interesting things here. I might move into some maybe some trans work, or maybe I'll start go back and do some empathic speed forms. Let's kind of loosen that aspect up a little bit. And then we're going to take those speed forms and maybe develop. Here's, here's, let's try this. Maybe next Wednesday, I'll go back in and develop some speed forms for a Ferrari Grand Vision Turismo. How'd that be? That's cool. I uh, did a little sketch yesterday to kind of kind of warm up to it a little bit, and I won't let you see it yet because it's uh, it's not quite there yet. But a good foundation being built. So I'm, I'm I'm looking at a whole variety of subject matters, and I'm on that subject matter. I mean, let me just say this in closing. I think it's absolutely paramount that I really respect and appreciate your time and your input. So if you have something you want me to work on, especially with a new member like uh, Brav Pavani, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um, if you have something you want me to work on or you have an issue with certain things, I don't have all the answers, but if I can help you with some surface work or geometry or drawing work, please feel free to uh, contact me at my following email address, and that's jim at drcontrast.com. Really, really look forward to having you come on board there. And secondly, um, especially for the new one, Rob, not Rav, Rav Nipavni, I believe, um, if you want to visit my website at drcontrast.com, I've got a whole series of drawing lessons there, one through nine, that take you through basic perspective into presentation things. Uh, hopefully, we have some help to you. So uh, please feel free to look at my uh, website, uh, the drawing program, uh, drcontrast.com. And again, emails, always welcome. Uh, really looking forward to input from you all. So thank you so much. Again, I can be reached at my email address at jim at drcontrast.com. And I can't thank you enough for the time spent today. I went through a, a lot of a little ins and outs and some, some very interesting things to, uh, to peek at. Um, so, again, build a foundation. Once you build that foundation, everything will stand upon it. And we know where we are. I think that's the key. Today's key was very simply this. Never guess where you are. Know where you're going. And I think that's the whole process. So, again, platforms and circles and planes down begin to build geometry. And I'll close with this. No matter what, this, what the scale is, the same principles we talked about today, about getting a platform down, developing circles or the face of a cube to get the circles right correctly. No matter what your discipline is, cars, product design, architecture, interior space, they all work the same. It's universal. So thanks again, gang, for a great time. A lot of fun. Look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. We'll kind of open up the subject matter, maybe open a little bit more thrust work and then get some really good fun stuff here. And once again, uh, Ravna Pavni, I think I hope I said, said your name correctly. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you tune in next Wednesday at the same time, 2.30. And I always close off with this. I think it's the most important part of the whole stream. Never forget to dare to be great because you are. Never forget that. All the best, gang. Have a great week. We'll see you on Wednesday, a week from today. Take care. Thank you.